Well, good morning, girls. Today's class is all about science and adaptations in plants. We'll start by reviewing the adaptations with, that we already worked with last week. So I have here three examples that are the most common ones that we have in, that come to our minds. So we have roses that have thorns to protect themselves. Well, first of all, adaptation helps the plants survive in the environment. The adaptations can be used as in order to stay alive, protect themselves, or as we also viewed the example of uh, carnivore plants to get some food. So I brought here ex different examples. This one to protect themselves definitely from animals eat them. The cactus has spines for two reasons. The first one is to protect itself as well from being eaten by an animal. And the second one is to keep the water or to store the water that it has in, uh, in deserts that, that it's pretty scarce. And then I brought a pine. The pines also have spines but to protect themselves, but also have a shape of a cone. These types of trees usually grow in places that have winter with lots and lots of snow. If these trees ha didn't have this cone shape, the branches would be broken by the amount of snow or by the, the weight of the snow that would, it had to carry. And this way, the snow just slides from the top to the bottom, and the branches don't hurt, don't get hurt. And also this way, the spines don't lose water during the cold winters because they don't shed, they don't lose their leaves. The first activity that we're going to have is open your notebooks and in science, of course, and write down the way I have here a word adaptations. You'll need to create an anagram using words. Either you start with the first letter, you can use it as the last letter, or you can put this letter in the middle of a next word that you're going to write. But the, uh, pay attention that the word you're going to write should be related somehow describing a process of adaptation, given examples of adaptations, and make sure it's colorful. And this, of course, the words that you're using are meaningful. So we'll continue with the topic of plants adapting to the environment. We already know that plants need, uh, they are living things and they need different resources in order to grow. They need the sunlight, they need soil, they need di uh, carbon dioxide that they turn into oxygen for us, and they need um, nutrients. But also, they how do they get this carbon dioxide? They get it from the wind. The wind is something that is uh, invisible, but we do feel it as well as the plants. We discussed in the previous class that they are living things so they can feel how this how the wind helps them and how the plants adapt to it so the plants grow uh, start growing and they get the wind the more wind they get the more carbon dioxide they have and this is something that is turned into oxygen and it's food for plants. If they um, get enough wind and the plants can get stronger. But too much wind also can hurt them. If the plants feel that the wind is way too strong for them, they start adapting. How they are adapting? First, they're, they'll develop their roots that will keep them inside of the soil, but not only the roots to keep them inside of the soil. If there is too much wind, the same wind that brings the 
carbon dioxide, uh, the same wind will take away the most from the soil. So the plants need to search for this moisture. So they're, how they're going to search for it? Well, using stronger and longer roots. After that, uh, their leaves can turn around and roll. They will roll the, the, the leaves so the wind won't shed them or will not break it, uh, the leaves. The next, this uh, could be the positive and at the same time the negative part of the wind. Here we go to um, a plant that you may know. It's a dandelion. Okay, and it looks like a flower, but maybe you'll recognize it in the, in the part where it has already the seeds. Okay, and that's the same flower in different stages. This flower depends on the wind. Um, the flower needs the seeds to be spread around. And as you can see, it has this uh, adaptations that can fly in the wind and they can be taken far away from the main plant. We may not recognize this plant, but we will definitely recognize the name, a maple. This is the plant that gives us the maple syrup we use in our pancakes in the mornings. This uh, plant also depends on wind in order to spread the seeds. You see how they're um, the seeds have these two wings that look like butterfly and this one has um, a shape of a parachute, right? So this one looks like a parachute and uh, this is the seed that will be taken away from the plant. So these plants depend on, a, on the wind and this is their positive way of using the wind. And this is their way to adapt to the wind. Okay, so now guys, your second task. You'll need again your notebook, and this time you'll need to write down a paragraph. I wrote here that you can either write four or five sentences in a paragraph. It depends on how long your sentences are. But what I need you to explain in this paragraph, based on a video that I for you. Uh, what adaptation might help a plant to survive in a very windy place? You can think of the examples, you can search for more examples, uh, you can take examples I gave in the video, um, but don't forget to describe why they need these adaptations. And the most important part I forgot, that you need to give three examples of adaptations. Pick attention not three different plants of course you can base on a plant and describe its adaptation but what i need is three different adaptations maybe in their roots in their plants in their stems in their leaves but how the plants adapt that's what you'll need to describe in your short paragraph in the notebook and when you're done Take a picture of the anagram about the plant adaptations and the paragraph itself. Thank you, girls. Take care.